Welcome back to our discussion of supervised learning methods. We just talked about logistic regression. And when we talked about logistic regression, we were discussing how features get transformed into a probability that an example takes on the label of a particular class. But we didn't talk about where those features came from. Now you could just say that those are words, but what does it mean to have a word? And could you do more clever things with your features? The answer is yes, and the strategy for creating those features is something called feature engineering. So we're going to talk about that next through a couple of examples of different domains where you go through, look at the data, and improve your features so that they do a better job at whatever task you care about. And this is in contrast to what we'll talk about later in the course with neural models where you don't have to do this sort of feature engineering and the models are smart enough that they'll do it for you. But even though you may go off and use nothing but neural models, the kind of deep inspection and introspection that you need to do for feature engineering will serve you well no matter what kind of model that you're working with. You need to be suspicious of your model and you need to build models uh, that can take data in the form that you have to do something useful. So it's important to think about this. And as I will say throughout the course, you should always start with a simple baseline like logistic regression. And while you're working with that simple baseline, spend a little time on feature engineering. And if your fancy neural models can't beat the very simple feature engineered logistic regression baseline, you have a problem. That could be a problem in your data. It could be a problem in your model. It could be a problem in your learning strategy. But creating a feature engineered logistic regression model is relatively simple. It will show you how hard is the task that you're actually working on. While each of these domains is a little bit different, there are various aspects of the data that you need to care about to create features that are effective, the general process is the same. You start with an initial model, you see how well it does on some held out data, and then you go back in, change, uh, the features that you use in the training set and the held out set and see if your model can pick up more of the things that you care about in the held out set. If you want to see more videos like this, check the video description for the course that comes from the link down below. You can then see the context and the correct order for watching these videos. YouTube will gleefully show you stuff in the wrong order. If you want other people to see this video, provide a big gradient to the recommendation algorithm by clicking the like and subscribe button down below.